Well, the governor of New York is proposing huge changes to limousine regulations following a deadly crash last fall. Now, among the possible reforms is an outright ban on stretch limos. Now, that's raising some questions about those kinds of limos here in Nevada. As 8 News Now reporter Urko Mana found out, our state already has some updated rules in place. We take a lot of pride and spend a lot of time making sure our vehicles are safe. J.J. Bell with Presidential Limousine in Las Vegas says their number one priority is passenger protection, but he does not agree with the proposals in New York, which include banning all stretch limos, meaning they are cut from a passenger vehicle and then extended. It doesn't matter what the vehicle is. If you maintain it properly, it will be safe. If you do not maintain it properly, it will not be safe. The potential changes in New York are in response to this crash last October, which left 20 people dead. The limo involved was a stretch vehicle. It's then required to go to a mechanic. David Newton with the Nevada Transportation Authority says there are already regulations in our state when it comes to reconfigure limousines. He says in 2008, the NTA started requiring limos to be originally manufactured based on how many passengers they carried, so there would be no stretching necessary. The authority was concerned about the brakes and the other safety systems being engineered for a certain weight or a certain capacity and that being changed. But Newton says there are some stretch limos that have been grandfathered in. Regardless of the type of limousine, the Nevada Transportation Authority says there are plenty of safety checks on both the vehicles and the drivers. Those vehicles are looked at at least once a year by an entity outside of the carrier. And carriers like presidential limousines say they also carefully check each limo. If there's anything found um, from the driver, then they report it and the vehicle stays out of service until we fix it. Orcomana, 8 News Now. Now, the NTA says it is confident with where Nevada limo regulations stand right now, but once the final report on the New York crash is released, it'll look into any additional changes they might need to make.